We're here at the Unified Supply Chain Summit 2023, continuing our coverage of all things supply chain. And I am joined by Richie Chen, who is the CEO and founder of Hi Robotics. It's good to meet you, my friend. Thank you for joining me. Thanks, thanks, Mike, for having me here. Now, there's been a lot of talk about robotics today, but I wanted to ask yes. you a little bit uh, specifically about how warehouse automation technologies can help organizations. Right. right get their stuff together when yes. it comes to getting things yes. out on time. As we yes. know, everyone wants more, yes. faster. Yes, what exactly. I mean, if we take into consideration the, the expenses of the warehouses, actually 60% comes from the you know people labor cost. Yes. And moreover, we can't really find enough people to work in warehouses nowadays. So I would say that uh, the, the, the number one benefit that people can get from warehouse automation is actually to you know, people can increase efficiency by three to four times using goods processing systems and sorters and transportation devices and etc. Absolutely. This is the first point. The second point is, you know, for warehouse warehouse automation, actually, we can increase the storage density by three to four percent, uh, three to four times, because we are fully utilizing the the ceiling height, like ten meters, or uh, for shadows maybe twenty meters. And the third point is actually the customer can get can really get their orders in a shorter period of time especially for e-commerce or for MFC. I mean, uh, for using warehouse automation, you can get your order ready for like 15 minutes to 30 minutes, you can get your order, and yeah. then you can deliver the order to your customer like in one hour. The okay. first point is that, you know, we have a truly visibility on the inventory. Okay. So it's like we have very high accuracy because, you know, um, you can, every, every item picked is monitored in the system. So you have a truly, exactly, a truly visibility of your inventory and you know like how much you sell, and uh, basically we can get 99.99 .99 as a 5.9 wow. uh, accuracy for the order picking. Incredible. Well, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't talk about uh, commercial real estate costs at the moment. They're obviously right. at an all-time high. Exactly, yes. A lot of yes. people experiencing that. Yes. How can warehouse automation, I guess, uh, and those technologies help organizations get yes. the most out yes. of their existing yes. properties and what they've got? Yes. Um, what have you seen? Yeah, I mean, for the past several years, because of COVID, there's huge inventory in the warehouses. Uh, people are exporting from other countries just uh, to have, uh, you know, the inventories. Yeah. So, I mean, so the price, the cost of the warehouses are becoming higher and higher. Mm. So, I mean, what I think is uh, warehouse automation, one of the major functions is that they can, cr they can increase warehouse storage density. For example, uh, for high robotics, we provide ACR technologies. Uh, our goods to person system can go up to 10 meter tall with double deep. Wow. So that's about three times more uh, storage density compared with manual shelving. So in this way, we can really increase the warehouse density. I mean, it's, I mean, uh, the reason why we increase warehouse density is not just about the rental cost. I mean, because when the business grows, I mean, if you can't provide that kind of large space, then you have to find a new warehouse. It's extremely hard to re relocate. This is one thing. Yeah. And if you open a second warehouse, then you need to recruit a whole bunch of new management team which is even harder to find. So Richie, what does the future of the labor force look like based yes. on everything you've sort of outlined yes. uh, into the future with yes. robotics uh, you know, yes. moving into places and of course expanding operations? Right, right. I mean, I, actually I've been working in warehouses for, for several months when I was a bachelor, you know, like yeah. uh, tens of years ago, I was a bachelor, I was a university. I mean, to, to pick items in warehouses is really a terrible job. So I mean, for warehouse warehouse robots, there will be many people working. There will be people working in warehouses, but more efficiently, and it's easier. I mean, you do not need to walk forty kilometers per day just to pick items. Yeah, it's easier. And also, you know, for because a lot of societies, people are getting older and older. So even for elderly people, they can work in warehouses because for nowadays, only the youngsters, like twenties, twenties or early thirties, yes. they have the ability to to walk thirty kilometers per day. But with technologies, the, the elderly will be able to work. I mean, they want to work, actually. They will Correct. be able to work in warehouses. This is one thing. Secondly, because there will be a lot of automation in warehouses from, uh, like, in 10 years. You know, 10, 10 years before, there were little um, adoption of WMS system, warehouse management system. But nowadays, every warehouse has a WMS. So after 10 years, I believe every warehouse will start to use, will be using automation systems. So there will be many engineers in warehouses. The warehouses will become like a factory. Mm. There will be many engineers in the warehouses. So maintenance, software, like, uh, you know, electricians, there will be engineers and, you know, some elderly people because we can't find enough people to work. Yeah. And the elderly, they 
just do not have the ability to work in current warehouses at the moment. Yes. You know, in Japan, actually, the reasons why they use automation uh, in warehouses is not because they want to you know, replace you, no. It's because they, ha they can have the elderly to work in warehouses with the help of automation because the peak, uh, they do not need to walk 40, 40 kilometers per day. Absolutely. So it's yeah. the changing face of the warehouse work um, place, I suppose, rather yes. than a complete overhaul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just exactly. to finish, was there any yeah. technology you wanted to bring to our attention that perhaps organizations yes. Yes. should keep an eye on moving forward? Right, right. I mean, um, in my opinion, I think for, uh, for retailers, for e-commerce, yeah. the most effective ways are three types of technologies. One is goods to person, and I highly recommend to, to think of ACRs in the high robotics and also other goods to person technologies. The second is actually sorting technologies.